Hey Capricorn, there may be a little bit of change in structure in your life, transitional phase. There also may be other things knocking at your door that you didn't realize were knocking at your door until now. You may be in a transition for something else at the moment, but then there will be something else. It, each, I'm noticing that in this season, in fixed earth, we are noticing the pattern of what each sign is almost stuck on and what these eclipses in um, Taurus and Scorpio are upheavaling, allowing, bringing to our attention. And as a cardinal sign, which I learned means hinge, to hinge something, so to connect, which we knew um, with certain signs, but each cardinal sign connects a fixed to a mutable, or it connects to one element to the other, which uh, as the other ones do. But there's something about those seasons specifically that initiates something to let go of something. So you're walking over a bridge, in a sense, constantly. And what you're noticing is like, I think we talked about speaking up last month, right? So notice where that's gotten you with your life, with your plan, even though it's only been a month. Notice what it's like to speak up about what you believe in, what you value, what is yours. Maybe something that you're putting out there, maybe a product. It could be your advice, depending on what you do for a living. But it's really important that you take note of this and take note of who's paying attention. You, there's this emergence in this plan that you may have to express to someone that you care for um, could be a partner and it feels very much more solid from page of pentacles to knight of cups you feel ready to move forward you feel ready to change whatever it is that's you're changing in your life at this point whatever it is that you can't control as to what it is that you can um also about letting the eclipses work on you like what happened or what's happening out throughout the month it's a big time of not really uh pushing too hard or forcing too much because it's gonna do that that work's gonna be done anyway so the lovers is this expression this outward pouring it could just be that you feel so much more creative energy that you feel that there's something or someone some type of being energy coming through you at this time and offering you this chance to not only see where you've come and seeing the the shift it's like you're tired of saying things that you know have value you're tired of saying things to people who aren't listening and finally people are listening but it has you thinking differently about your your path and the future this month it's really important that all of this outpour of love and all this outpour of what is real for you what is what realizations you might have whatever comes with this is not an excuse to fight with yourself or go into overindulgence mode in whichever way you overindulge, especially if you have um, a hard time understanding what your limit is. It's not a time to fight with yourself about things that are so unnecessary right now because there's so much, and I think what really this is for most of you is that, and we'll, um, It'll make sense more when we look at the cards in the second part, which will be in a link below on Patreon. We'll take a look at the cards and you'll see how this kind of flows together. But it's about you understanding that what's happening now and where you're moving forward now. There's no reason to beat yourself up about the past and what you couldn't control then, and what you didn't know then, and who you were then. It's not who you are now. You've been through the hard workings of Saturn. You are also ruled by Saturn. And now that things are switching and changing you see an out you see more freedom possibly but would not without discipline and right now you have to be disciplined to yourself and what you're realizing because it's so easy for that moment that we get so swept that could be feel like this blissful realization to turn into more of a romanticized idea but really it's the groundwork for what's coming ahead this is the groundwork for 
who you are, how you believe in yourself. And if you move past all of that, two of wands, three of cups, five of um, wands, or two of swords, three of cups, five of wands, and you understand that when you're offering something to someone or something's being offered through you, it's, I think it's also maybe finding your voice and what you've been through and really offering support in that way and being very generous with understanding these patterns that you've been through and these different motions that you've been through and you realize that there's a different way, there's a better way and you feel very secure in this and solid in this. It's just really important that towards the end of the month that whatever like taurian qualities this earth qualities that like i know better i you know i do better it's this it's not this it's there's a difference between arrogance and also understanding that you are worth something that people are are and you're you're a sought after person that no matter what field you're in or no matter what you're doing you're someone who is sought after you're someone who people want to work with respect um are willing to do for are willing to are probably admirers but are willing to like give you the energy give you the strength give you the power and it's up to you to decide where and how you want to use all of this energy that's coming and in, influxing towards you because once you realize that this thing is ending and this going from being so high up and then falling down is not what you want to do it's like okay to be high up and they're just kind of on that plateau for a while and or plateau whatever and last season into this season is a little bit of a different energy but it's more settling for you it's more grounding for you you feel you may feel much more in yourself much more capable of starting things and moving things forward in your life you feel less likely to um take advantage of yourself the best way to put it is to not celebrate your wins but yet feel like you have to go hard in order to celebrate something like that's not the case you feel there's this maturity level in you now that is so strong and compelling like don't forget to play like as I always tell you guys but there's this it's so strong and compelling and solid and by the end of the month you will feel this developing sense of security even more security about yourself because you're willing to be more flexible in ways that are important for you willing to speak up about things that you value and also set forth and when you do that you don't realize that sometimes just saying something or and meaning what you're saying has so much weight in it that certain things start to open up for you and they are like gifts and they will show you that everything that you've been through and everything that has been hard is also this which because Taurus loves to bring us back into the past but also this month is asking us to more more so move forward from it is that you no longer have to fight the impulses because you're no longer easily influenced by those impulses and it's because I think what is so interesting to you is because you're not easily influenced in general like any Capricorn I know about astrology it's like pish posh basically until you really talk to them be like and then they're like oh okay it's it's it doesn't take convincing but it's a great way to be because they just don't care enough they're like yeah you don't know me whatever it's not real any most Capricorns are like that at first until it becomes very real and learning that it's more of a language than a belief and there's this high power higher power high power quality in you that people are going to sense that you don't even have to really say too much that your energy does it that the way you act the way you treat the people around you it's that it's all in that and i think that the biggest thing for you is to remember who you are and knowing that you don't have to say too much and by moving forward from these past habits, it's gonna bring you forward to something different. You may lose things or people along the way, but it's for your betterment. And you, when you know it's for your betterment and for a better 
adventure lifestyle you're here for it and you're willing to do whatever it takes you're willing to be whoever it takes for you what that looks like for you so it's like your values and what you hold weight in and your standard your emotions are finally catching up to that and in a way that is very cohesive and when you have that then really nothing can stop you and I, this month is showing a lot of people about their potential as well and you know your potential but it just depends on the ups and downs you've already been through in your life and it depends on the person right so by the end of the month there's this autonomy that you may feel and you feel so connected to that in such a physical mental spiritual emotional way which is Taurus and you learn you may learn that this month more than ever that this is where that is guiding you and that you are being guided that you are you have much to offer and it may not be in the way you're doing it now right now specifically and that may change moving forward just roll with it roll with the thoughts go with it see what happens ask questions I write things, I write questions down and then they're answered. It's crazy. Like sometimes I even answer them stream of consciousness, but it's just learning your process and learning that your, the weight and your value, the strength and who you're becoming, the seeds you've planted are not just the ones that are literally physically around you. They exist in so many other areas and you're just getting ready for it. So just take that for what it is and we'll leave it there this month and it's okay to give your energy i think this is really important but it's really important not to take from yourself anymore or the heart that you have because this month it could be easy for people to take advantage of that and you you may feel spiteful in the end so it's really important that you not give with any expectation right now unless it's a spoken expectation and even then because for what Scorpio the full moon in Scorpio and the 16th will take care of that because then we have Scorpio and Taurus <laughs> and that's gonna make you more committed to your future anyway and you'll see it so don't you know don't force things say things that are necessary do what you have to do give where you give especially to yourself especially to what is holding you back give what what do you need when that comes up just give whatever you need to give to yourself and if that means doing something creative doing something that brings you money then do it it's your oyster and it's your world and i think you're realizing something that not a lot of people can comprehend physically and actually set out to do physically right now and you have that capability so this autonomy and this higher power that comes to you is really important this month for you and for how this year continues to roll out because it's just a preview of the next six months blah, blah, blah. and then we go into aries and libra next year so there's a lot in the way that you're communicating right now. I'd say communicate more by action for the most part, but you will have to still continue to use your voice and how you say things. It's all about tone, you know that. All right. All the links are to work with me are below, including the Patreon second part, and then see you next month.